Uh, 80s. Near record heat today, just like yesterday. Today we missed the record, topping out the mid 80s. The record was 87 degrees. This is not where we typically are in April. Clouds have moved in in the evening hours as well. And I'll tell you, the number one theme this work week is going to be unseasonably warm. We're going to keep it in the 80s for most of this work week with a couple opportunities for intermittent rain or storms to start to work in. Clouds right now across the area, otherwise we are quiet. Looking up to the north, I, we've been keeping an eye just the northern portions of Kentucky. Couple storms have started to form near St. Louis and near Louisville. Some of these in the next couple hours might, I mean, it's really low likelihood, might try to kiss Warren County in Kentucky, maybe Cumberland, Clinton County, but the trajectory of these really takes them more to the east than it does to the south. They're riding some wind that's way up higher in the atmosphere. And not to say, like I said, it's glancing blows. Not impossible that a shower or a rumble could touch our Kentucky tier between now and midnight. It would just be a touch, though. Not hanging out, not soaking us. And these showers and storms are fueled in part by the unusual warmth. 80s Nashville, 80s St. Louis, 70s right now in Memphis. Thicker cloud cover cooling some folks off. We dip into the 60s tonight. We climb into the upper 80s tomorrow. Here's how the next couple days play out. Not impossible that a few showers could drift by mid-morning tomorrow. Most of this would evaporate, though. The air at the surface is still pretty dry. Couple afternoon stray showers and storms. I'm not worried about those. It's late tomorrow night. Another overnight setup around 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow night that a decaying line of storms, meaning it will be weakening on approach, will move into our western or northwestern counties. I don't expect this to pack a long lasting punch, but it might wake you up early Wednesday morning, moving into our western northwestern tier around one, two, three o'clock in the morning, clearing the plateau by about noon. And depending on if the atmosphere can recharge, Wednesday, so now we're talking Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. I know I'm tossing a lot at you. We could see another round of storms in the afternoon hours, but it's a big if. The morning could just consume all of the energy. Ideally, that's what I would prefer. If it doesn't, and there's enough energy left over during the daytime hours of Wednesday, we could have some strong to severe storms. Level one risk for the afternoon hours for everyone in green. It's a level two risk for folks in yellow. Then we get a brief break for most of the day Thursday with another batch of rain Thursday night into Friday. Not worried about severe weather there. Just another overnight rainmaker for us. I planted so many plants yesterday and so overnight rain is good for them. But meteorologists and I know everyone at home likes to have a peaceful night's sleep as well. So we're going to keep a close eye on these. Like I said, glancing intermittent rainfall opportunities. But a lot of dry time this week too, Rory.